Our next question is Will water damage concrete? The answer is Yes It will induce capillary formation which is nothing but due to deteriorating characteristics of water the concrete starts spalling out that is the places where the capillaries are formed with even slight amount of stress that portion will come out so water will definitely damage your concrete also concrete has a ph of about 12 to 13 it reduces the ph of the concrete when in salty water or when it is exposed to marshy areas and water will reduce the overall strength of the concrete it reduces the durability and it also reduces the permeability to further water seepage and it also results in aging of the structures hence water will damage concrete moving on to our next question what is diversion tunnel in a dam if you see when a dam is built a diversion tunnel is usually bored through the solid rock next to the dam site by passing the dam construction site so the dam is built while the river flows through the diversion tunnel so this is the purpose of diversion tunnel while a dam is built these pattern of questions are highlighted in civil firms like martin burn limited and skyline builders moving on to our next question how many lbs are there in a yard the answer is a pound lb is a unit of measurement for weight while a yard is a unit of measurement for distance yard is a common abbreviation for cubic yard which is a unit of measurement of volume a cub- cubic yard equals to 27 cubic feet dirt weighs about 110 pounds per cubic feet so a cubic yard of dirt weighs about 2970 lbs since concrete is heavier that is it has about 150 pcf which is physical constraints five a cubic yard of concrete weighs about 4050 lbs so that is what the number of lbs in yard These pattern of questions are highlighted in TO Engineering and Tata Group Limited interviews. Moving on to our next question. Who designed the city of Washington DC? Our answer is Perry L. Fenn. and engineer lord winston are the two great engineers who designed the city of washington dc our next question is what is the quality of cement in mix m20 concrete for a nominal mix cement consumption for m25 it will be 570 kg per cm that is cubic meters
and for a design mix it can be optimized to 510 kg per cubic meter so that is the quantity of cement in mix m20 concrete our next question is how long does it take concrete to harden how long does it take our answer is it takes 28 days to harden so a concrete takes 20, 28 days to harden our next question is state the applications of modulus of elasticity our answer is Modulus of elasticity is related to the flexibility of the material. The value of modulus of elasticity is pretty important in case of deflection of different materials used in building construction. So, it is important in case of building construction. The applications of modulus elasticity is as follows. Hence, these pattern of questions are asked in interviews of Toyo Engineering and Jindal Steel. Our next question is, state the building codes. Building codes are the set of specification to ensure that safety associated with any building construction. These codes are associated with the height spacing and installation of the building. These codes play an important role in vacating the buildings in case of any emergency situations. Let us see our next question. Describe briefly the various methods of concrete curing. Some of the methods are listed over here as Spraying of water Wet covering of surface And ponding Spraying of water on walls and columns can be cured by sprinkling water Surfaces can be cured by using the surface with wet gunny bags or straw. If there are horizontal surfaces including the slab and flows can be cured by stagnating the water. So that is known as ponding. And our next methods for curing is steam curing and applications of curing compounds. Steam curing is nothing but prefabricated concrete units can be cured by passing steam over the units that are under closed chambers. So that is what is meant by steam curing. If you see application of curing compounds like Calcium chloride on the surface will keep the surface wet for a long time. So that is the fifth type of curing for prefabricated concrete. Our next question is why are steel plates inserted inside bearings in elastometric bearings? Our answer is, elastometric bearing act function as a soft spring. It should be made to allow it to bulge laterally and also the stiffness compression can be increased by simply increasing the limiting amount of the lateral bulging. Once the seal plates are included in the bearings, the deflection of the bearing is reduced as compared to a bearing without the presence of steel plates. Thus, 
That is the reason why steel plates are inserted inside the bearings in electrometric bearings. The deflection of the bearing is reduced when you insert steel plates. Our next question is Why should curing not be done by ponding and polythene sheets? It is because the primary purpose of curing is to reduce the heat loss of concrete that is freshly placed in the atmosphere. Ponding is not preferred for curing as this method of thermal curing is greatly affected by cold winds. In addition to that, in ponding, large amounts of water is used and it has to be disposed of from the construction sites. Whereas if you see, your polythene sheets are used on the basis that it creates an airtight environment. Around the concrete surface. Henceforth, reducing the chances of evaporation over fresh concrete surfaces. Hence, curing cannot be done by ponting or polythene sheets as these two work against the property of efficient curing. Moving on to our next question. What is the tensile strength of marble? Tensile strength of marble is ultimate 7 to 20 MPa where MPa is nothing but Martin Peters Associates. Thousand twenty to 2900 PSI that is pounds per square inch. This is a strength in a pure tension test. For bending use, modulus of rupture is 0 0.00410 up to 0 0.0276. GPA that is grade point average and 0.595 up to 4.00 PSI that is pounds per square inch. So that is the tensile strength of your marble. Moving on to our next question. What are the functions of a column in a building? So if you see for a column is used to support the weight of the roof and also the upper floors that might be constructed over the columns. Nowadays many columns are used for decorative purpose. But the actual reason is a column along with load bearing beams will support a lot of weight. So that is the purpose of columns. Our next question is how do you calculate the power of a centrifugal pump? The input power that is the power required to operate a pump should be stated in HP which is nothing but your horsepower on the pump's nameplate. It can also be calculated by a three-phase power equation using P in HP is equal to Vi 1.7c. It is given by the formula rated voltage multiplied by the rated current 
multiplied by 1.73 divided by the percentage efficiency will give you your three phase power so that will give your power required to operate the pump the output power which really is not technically power but rated in gpm that is gallons per minute or capacity should be on the name plate so this is how you have to calculate the power of a centrifugal pump the next question is what is unit weight of normal concrete the unit weight of normal concrete is 145 pcf which is nothing but pounds per cubic foot how many feet are there in 4 square yards that's the next question the answer is there are 9 square feet in a square yard therefore there are 36 square feet in 4 square yards thank you so much for joining gtech 